Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. This is going to be another top 10 mods review. These mods are all going to be for 1.7.10. So if you want to check out these mods because you thought they were super awesome, they will all be in the description below. And you can go ahead and download them from the Minecraft forum links that I will have provided. So anyways, without me talking about this stuff, let's go ahead and talk about the mods. At number 10, we have the 3D Furnaces mod, which as you can tell, adds 3D Furnaces to the game. And this looks really cool because I can see whatever block I have smelting at the moment up there, which is iron ore. And then you can see the result coming out at the bottom. And once you just go ahead and take it, you'll see that it's gone now. And also you can see whatever you use to cook down below. And number nine, we have the dynamic lights mod, which will pretty much just add lights that are, well, dynamic to wherever you go. So as you can see, wherever I'm moving, the torch light comes with me. And this can also work with other glowing blocks such as glowstone. And you can configure this mod to make it so if you wanted to, you could have stuff such as armor glow. At number eight, we have the not in Minecraft mod, which will add all of the things that have ever been removed from Minecraft right back into the game, including all these blocks you can see right here and a bunch of potions that I have put in this chest that you can go ahead and read if you slow down the video, and a bunch of mobs including Beast Boy, Human, Pigman, a type of villager, and redstone thugs. At number 7 we have the Elemental Creepers mod which adds a very large amount of new creepers to the game. All of them have their own special abilities as you can see some of them kind of broke out and all of them range from doing different things such as burying you in dirt or striking you with lightning and the list just could go on forever because there are so many of them and they all do really cool things. And number six, we have Bibliocraft, which adds a really large amount of new items to the game, such as potion racks, armor stands, and tool racks, and they all have their own purpose and really cool things that they do. So this is a really awesome mod to check out if you really like decorating your houses. And number five, we have the Better Foliage mod, which is a continuation of the Better Grass and Leafs mod. As you can see, it makes trees look much better because they just look really awesome and they're no longer flat and they kind of have rounded edges to them and it really will just make your world look so much better as you play. At number 4, we have the Twilight Forest mod which allows you to go to another dimension simply by making a 2x2 water hole, surrounding it by flowers and throwing a diamond in. Once you've done that, it will open a portal and you jump in and once you get there, you will see a very nice world awaiting you and we just need to wait for the game to load. And as you can see, we are now in a big forest-like area with some really cool looking terrain. And there are plenty of different biomes in this forest and it is a bit buggy as you can see there are chunk errors. But there are also a bunch of new mobs added to the game including really awesome bosses that you can go ahead and fight and get some cool stuff from. At number 3, we have Archimedes Ships which allows you to build any kind of floaty thing you want or a boat if you'd like that. But who wants a boat when you can fly? And you can make these really large like this one and once you have built it, you just need to go place a ship's helm wherever you want to be flying from, right click it, click assemble ship, mount ship, and you can start flying. And as you can see, I am turning and doing pretty cool stuff. And you can raise with X and lower yourself with C. At number two, we have the Biomes of Plenty mod, which adds a bunch of new biomes to the game. All of them are really cool biomes and it makes exploring much more fun. You can also get custom achievements for finding different biomes and you'll also find a bunch of new blocks. Finally, at number one, we have the GLSL Shaders mod, which allows you to install different shader packs, including this one, which is Sonic Ether's Unbelievable Shaders. And as you can see, we have dynamic lights going on, waving plants, shadows, better water, and waving trees, and much more effects that just make the game look so much better. It's a really fun exploring mod, as looking around at different views and different scenery will be really cool. But beware, you will need a really good computer to run this mod, because if you don't, you will probably crash or you won't be able to run it very well at all. Well guys, that concludes this video. If you agreed, hit that like button, and if you did not, tell me in the comment section why and what you thought was missing or out of place. And if you want to check out any of these mods, you can find them all in the description below. So as always guys, thanks for watching.